Hello friends and welcome back. The holiday weekend is over and it is time to get back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> that basically just means it's time to get back to work and get back into our daily routines and to put it behind the uh, holiday vacation. So uh, in today's video, I'm going to be doing another one of those um, a junk journal-esque uh, framed pictures. A couple days ago, I made this beautiful girl and a lot of you had like were really excited about it. You got like a lot of good things to say about it and you were some of you were requesting a um a part 2. So, here is like sort of like your part 2. I won't be doing anything more to this one as of yet because I haven't really found the pieces that I want to add to it but that's okay I can always come back to this we will come back to it when I add more to it but remember I did have two frames that I had purchased from the Dollar Tree this was the small one so we're going to be working on the bigger one today which is the five by seven picture frame and so um today things are going to go a little I want to say a little bit smoother and um easier because I've kind of got stuff I got a plan figured out now I've got some items gathered I've got things kind of pre pre done a little bit so I know when I was doing the last one things were a little a little chaotic because I didn't really know what I was doing it's kind of a new thing experimenting I was always all over the place and it was a little it was a little hectic and crazy but today it's a little bit more chill it's gonna be a little bit more slower and calmer and quiet mainly because I have been fighting with a headache for the past like two and a half days and it's really really biting me in the butt and I'm not sure why so I think it's gonna be quiet and calmer for this one so I've got things gathered and ready to go so I am super excited so I hope you'll enjoy so let's get started I have already got my piece of paper cut out I did a five by seven for this frame here, and I did something uh, a little different, and I kind of kind of learned learned from uh, this one. We, this is my first one, so I was just kind of still testing out the waters. What I did was, I don't know if you guys can see on the paper, I uh, I made a little mark with pencil, and so how I did that is once I cut out my piece, I just stuck it back in the frame, and I just really lightly took a pencil and marked the perimeter, so that way it'll kind of tell me kind of where what's going to be covered up inside the frame because if you guys notice you know it's kind of the kind of cute little decorative bows that I put on there they're kind of getting hidden on the inside of that and I didn't realize that there was going to be a slight little little edge that's going to be you know stuck behind the frame so I learned learned our lesson from that I made a little mark for the inside so I kind of know where to stick things so they're not going to be stuck behind the frame let me zoom you in so we can get ready to go. I have already selected the image we're gonna use for today. I found this beautiful image. I love the colors in this one. It's so pretty and gorgeous. This one actually came out of one of my most recent cut and collage books that I purchased. This one came from Plans and Pages by Jane May that I got on Amazon. I did a little haul of that like several days ago. So this is going to be our main image. I also cut out one of, one of these to kind of just add a little extra picture to it. It's just like a little, a little bookmark with some butterflies on it. So I went around and then I kind of gathered some, some papers and some washi tape to kind of go with the colors here. So everything is basically gathered and ready to go. So let's just go ahead and start gluing some things down. I'm going to set aside some of these things so they're not in the way. I'm going to start with this really cool uh, piece. I like the ripped edge here, and this color just it just really looks good with this, doesn't it? I really love that. I'm going to probably stick this about maybe up near the top here, like about there. So there's a nice ripped edge, but I don't want to cover up too much of this beautiful um, blue background because I really like this color, so I'm going to make sure not to do cover up too much of that. Probably about there, I'm thinking. Let's see, yeah, because if I put that here, I'm trying to lay out my pieces to kind of make sure that there's, you know, space for them. So about there, probably. Yep, I kind of like that. That doesn't look too bad, right? Maybe? Maybe? Yes, no, maybe so. Should I put this at an angle? No, that looks kind of weird at an angle. 
Let's just keep about there. Actually, it's okay to have this down a little further to cover that up. That's okay. I think we'll we'll work with like that or something. Hmm. We'll move it for move this one further down. Kind of stick this one up here. I think. Ooh, I kind of like that. That actually doesn't look too bad. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Anyways. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've got this really weird headache that I've been dealing with since, like, Sunday afternoon. And I just don't know where it's coming from or why I have it. It's not a super bad headache. It's like this really weird low-grade kind of like pressure headache or something. I kind of wonder if it has something to do with the weather, with all the, with the rainstorms that are coming from that hurricane uh, barrel, I think that we're going to be, we're going to be getting some of that rain. So there might be a low pressure, a low front going through. And that always, that always gives me a bit of a headache because it's, it's like, it's not so bad, but it's very uncomfortable. And I even took some like painkillers this morning to try and help with it, and it didn't even touch it. It just, it wouldn't touch it. Painkillers didn't do anything. So I'm like, what in the what heck is this? Because I had it all day yesterday. I had it for part of the day on Sunday. And then I had it all day today. And I was just like, what is going on? So, yeah, it's weird. So I'm kind of hoping maybe it's just the weather. And once this weather kind of goes through, we're supposed to get some rain, like overnight or something. Have to get a little bit of rain and then to tomorrow so hopefully that might clear it up it's really hot and humid outside too so i don't know if that also has something to do with it it's a possibility it's, the heat doesn't doesn't agree with me Okay, that's really pretty. I like that. Should I add should I add some more like at the bottom, you think? Should I do a small little strip at the bottom? I kind of feel like I should. Does that look does that look good? Sorry if I keep bumping you. Does that look good? A little strip at the bottom? I almost hmm, I don't know. If I stick her about there. And then this one about here. I also have this piece. I want to put this in here because it does match the orange and those flowers. Isn't that pretty? So I got to figure a piece out like this somewhere. Maybe I should use this at the bottom. Should I use this at the bottom? I think I should. I think I think I will. Let's see. Let's figure this out. Some, I don't want to use the whole piece. Actually, what I'm going to do is see if I can get like a, a little corner ripped here. If I stick this about here, I'm just, I'm just talking this out, guys. We're just going to talk it out, figure out what's going on here. I want to get some really pretty washi tape in here yet. I got some gorgeous colors in here. Like that one would be a really good one. I really like that one. That one looks really good. Or even this one too. I like these two. Those colors look really good. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. Okay. I could stick a piece like this down here. Actually, what I wouldn't mind doing is... Let me figure this out first. Turn a small piece like a so. There, I don't mind that. That looks really good. That looks really good. Okay. Yep, we're just playing around. That's what I love about doing these. They're small and easy. And because they're going like to a picture frame, you can make and as like 3D or as detailed as you want or as simple as you want. And it's, it's almost like you're actually working on a little page in a book, but you're going to frame it and, and hang it up or stick it on your desk. 
I'll go ahead and glue these two pieces down right now because I like them and I want them to go where I see them. Just gonna give you guys a heads up. I do not know if I will be able to make a video tomorrow. It sounds like I'm gonna have to work a very, very long day. Like they're talking, I may have to do a 12 hour, a 12 hour shift tomorrow. So um, there may or may not be a video tomorrow. Just letting you know ahead of time. Okay, let's see if I put her about here. I want, I want this about there okay yep. i kind of want it at a slight angle so i'm gonna go ahead and get these glued down i also want to find like a i want to find some words or say a really cute saying Let's stick on here All right, should I glue her down now? Do you think it's time? I think it could be time. So I'm gonna put the washi tape down here. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put like a little saying or something down here. So we can glue her down. I'll go ahead and get her glued down right now. Another thing that I love about these is because they're small and compact, you can make a bunch of them and keep them all in a box. And you can always change out your picture frame as often as you want for like seasons and occasions and holidays, themes and colors. Super easy to do. Another thing that I like about these two is they're great for when you stick them on your desk and you know they can help they can give you inspiration for other things you're working on. You know, just, just to have some of your art that you've made just displayed right there in front of you. And to kind of, you know, just remind you, it's like, you can make anything. You made this, and this is gorgeous. You made this, so you can make other things. Kind of give yourself self-inspiration and self-motivation from the things you've already made. To just have, you know, have something nice and cute just sitting right there. All right, let's use this washi tape. i got to first find the edge. There it is. And what I want to do is kind of rip off a piece here. Actually, I'm going to put some glue on the wash tape because, interesting fact, for those of you who do not know, washi tape is not a permanent tape. It will lose its stick over time. So if you want your washi tape to, you know, stay stuck in one spot, you're going to want to put some glue on the back of it. Yes, indeed, because, yep, unfortunately, washi tape is not permanent. It's got very little stick to it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get another piece. Oh, I'm kind of, didn't rip nicely. Come on, a little nice edge. Okay, let's go ahead and get some glue on this one as well. I'm going to put a piece of this brown on each side of this one. There we go. There's another piece. I'm going to do another short one over on this side. glue on it. Come put it over here. I gotta trim off the bottom because I want it to be even with the bottom. So guys tell me what kind of uh, movies or TV shows are you watching currently? What is, what is your go-to shows at the moment? I am currently watching this um, program. It's called Time Team. I just kind of recently discovered it about a year ago. Um, it's a 
it's an English uh, program. It's it's no longer running. Like I think they ended a couple years ago, but um, it's all about like archaeology, like digging. You know, the digging in the uh, dirt archaeology. You know, and digging up history. As a as a kid, I was absolutely fascinated by archaeology. I wanted to be an archaeologist so badly. I was so into it. We learned a lot about it. I don't know why I didn't get into it. I guess I just kind of, you know, lost interest in it because, you know, I was a kid, you know, us kids, we always lose interest in things pretty fast, but uh, I was just fascinated by archaeology. And so when I discovered this TV show called Time Team, like about a year or so ago, I was I was so excited. I've been binge watching a lot of their shows. I think they ran for about 20 years. It was all based over in England where they just traveled all over and just dug a uh, dug up all of these really ancient like Roman sites and medieval sites and just lots of history and I just it's got two of my favorite things, archaeology and history. So I really really love that show and I'm I'm busy watching it again. I'm rewatching a lot of the episodes again cuz I love it so so much. It's so exciting. So yeah, if you guys have heard of Time Team, let me know. Or if not, go check it out on YouTube. That's where I'm watching most of it on YouTube. Okay, I'm going to look for um, a little saying or something. Let's see. Little quotes or words. I kind of wish I didn't. Let's see. Do I have any other ones? Because I don't want any like white ones on there. It's like, do I have any like. This isn't as going as I am. Kind of hoped. Darn, I'm going to have to go with these ones. I don't want to, but, you know, i got to always wait until I find something else. Because I don't want... I've only got white or black. I don't want white or black on this. Because this is more, like, neutral. I want something right here, but I don't want white or black. So I'm, gonna, I'm afraid I'm going to have to hold off on the the words or the sayings. But we're gonna come to a really fun part that I'm excited about. We're gonna add some 3D elements to this. And I can't wait to show you what I've got. So and first things first, I'm gonna go plop this in here. Just when I add my 3D elements, they're not gonna get, you know, like interfere with the frame. I wanna make sure that where I'm putting them, they're gonna be out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my picture in my frame already. Also to just kinda see how it looks. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, it looks so good with that colored frame. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, what I have is I've got these two containers of dried flowers and all different kinds that I don't remember where these came from. I wanna say they came from Amazon, but I can't be 100% sure. But uh, I think these are just a random mix pack of um, just dried flowers and leaves. And I thought these would be the perfect little 3D element to add to our little frame here. Because there's some colors in here that look like they would just go absolutely gorgeous with this. So let's go ahead and kind of dig through some of these and see what we can add. And I'm gonna apply them with the Fabri-Tac uh, glue because I know this is a lot stronger and stickier. And I want to make sure that where I'm sticking them, they're gonna be stuck. So let's just um, carefully pick through these. They're very, very delicate because you know, they are dried flowers and dried leaves. So I just, I'm just, I'm afraid to go through these. I'm afraid I'm getting ruined. But you know, I gotta, I gotta carefully pick through. I'm kind of aiming for these orange flowers back here because, you know, there's orange flowers in this. I just don't know how big a piece these are. Ooh, ooh, okay. What have we got here? Ooh, okay. Oh, oh. Those are going to be so pretty. See, what if I stick, like, right there? Isn't that cool? Oh, I love that so much. Oh, I love that so much. And I can always... Here's this really pretty... I love this color. I can do something to kind of hide the stems. So what I can do is I can glue this kind of on top to kind of hide the stems a little bit. Oh, isn't that pretty? 
Let's see if there's anything else in here. This one's a good one. Whatever this one was. Oh, that's a bigger one. I don't want a bigger one in there. I'm going to kind of gradiate it down from big to like a small. This is a cool piece. I wish it wasn't so big, though. It's a little on the big side. I got this one here. That's pretty. All right, let's not get too carried away. Let's kind of work with what we've got here so far. All right, let me see how I'm going to get these two. Uh, Stay. Actually, what I could do is I could cut these off because this is a very big stem. I think I'm going to do that. I think because it'll make it easier to stay. Hang on. Where did my tiny scissors go? I left them on the couch because I was doing fussy cutting. Okay. I'm actually going to snip off all three of these here because they'll be easier to work with in a smaller shape. I've always wanted to add like dried flower elements to my uh to my thing okay get my fabric tech glue actually i should also get out a baby wipe because you know fabric tech glue is very messy very very sticky very messy okay you're about here so I'm going to do is just go ahead and put a nice kind of long line here up. Let's see if I can get you to stay stuck where I put you. Okay, not too bad. I don't know how long I'm going to have to hold that for it to dry. Okay, you gonna stay put. I want it to stay put. This is the part where you're gonna have to take your time. Take your time. Okay, then I'm gonna kind of bring them, bring these ones down a little bit to kind of hide some of that. So I want you about here. All right. We got a glue bubble. We have a glue bubble, ladies and gentlemen. We have a glue bubble. All right, let's go ahead and get you about there. Okay, we good? Taking our time. Just, you know, making sure it sticks. Keeps on moving over. I don't want it to move over. Holding it down. What I could do is actually put this little one like over here or something. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to stick this one right here. There's still plenty of space down here for me to put my words. And then I could still stick this really pretty one like tuck it in here somewhere. <clears throat> wow, I'm starting to lose my voice. My voice is cracking. I'm losing my voice, guys. Where's it going? All right, we're gonna stick this one right here. Oop. Let's put it about here. This Fabri-Tac glue is working wonders. If you wanna stick some pretty big embellishments on, I'd, I'd, I'd highly recommend the Fabri-Tac glue. Highly recommend it. I'm gonna hold this down for a few seconds. I've already had my dinner, so once I'm done here, I am I am pretty set to go to just sit on the couch, watch some time team, and fussy cut some images. <gasps> That's pretty much been my go-to for the past past couple evenings. It's quite quite relaxing. I actually I actually enjoy it. So I guess if you like it, then do it. All right, I want this lovely little thing. I want it tucked in here somehow. I'm just not sure how. Well, I think I can put a little bit of glue down here for starters. There we go. Oh, there's 
supposed to stay stuck there. Ah, glue webs. Glue webs. Okay. This stuff is almost as bad as a hot glue. Hot glue gives some pretty crazy glue webs. Okay, come on. I don't want to get glue onto my tweezers. Okay, I could put a little bit of dollop of glue on this so it'll hold it there. But I think that I think that's okay. I think it's good. What do you think, guys? Isn't that cool? Adding a little bit of 3D element with some dried flowers. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. That turned out really good. I love the image that I picked. It's really super cute. And again, I can always come back in and add some more if I want to down the road. I do still want to get like a, a saying or a word or phrase in here yet. I just I just don't know. I don't I don't like the ones that I have. So I'm going to do some hunting. So again, you can always come back. You can add as much detail as you want to these. Make them as 3D as you want. And see, I like doing the 3D elements with these because if you're trying to do this in a book, they would get squished. They would get squished, not look, not look as good. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. It worked out a lot um, smoother and easier since I kind of had a little bit of more of a plan. Whereas before, I didn't really didn't really have a plan. All right, well, that being said, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you had as much fun as I, as I did. I hope this gave you some new ideas and inspired you to try something, try something different. And uh, if you want to see more of these, you know, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you did like it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to keep coming back. We're almost at 2000 subscribers, you guys. I really would love to reach it to 2000 subscribers. That would be amazing. You guys are amazing. And thank you so much for coming and watching my videos and taking the time out of your day every single day to watch them. I got so many more amazing ideas I'd love to, you know, throw at you guys. So, you know, keep coming back for more so I can keep making more. I'm having so much fun making these. And these these turned out great. I really I really love these. So, I can always make more. I can, what's nice is I can change them out. I can keep the two same frames and just, you know, make more of them and then change them out. Two different sizes. Frames come in so many different patterns and styles and many, many different sizes. You could go crazy. Sky's the limit. There are endless, endless possibilities. You can make hundreds and thousands of these in so many different patterns and wh whatever you want. Absolutely whatever. So thank you so much for liking them. I'm glad that you enjoyed these and uh, I can't wait to make some more. So until next time, keep on gluing everybody.